want to say for those who have joined us this morning, God bless you. Or whenever you join us, God has been good to all of us. Yeah. He's brought us another week's journey. Yeah. And you know who's glad about it? We are. Yeah. Yeah. Give God a standing ovation. He's in my room. He's been in my room. And he gave Have you prayed that God healed your body? Have you prayed that God answered your prayer? Have you prayed that God opened your doors for you? We hear the praise this holy day. Sister Veronica, at this time, leading us in our short praise, and after that, the deacons will come.
and be glad in it. Oh, we're glad to be in the house of prayer one more time. We are blessed, we are grateful our God to be able to bow on our knees to say thank you for your many blessing. Thank you for watching over us last night while thank we you, slept. Lord. Waking us this morning in our right mind. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for the cold you gave us to put on our back. The food for the nourishment of our body. The transportation that we can come to the house Thank of prayer. You, Lord. Thank you, Lord. We have much to be grateful for. Thank you for so all for salvation. Thank you for saving our souls. We are here to praise you today, God. We are here to lift you up. Open up our understanding. As we hear the word preached from heaven, oh, let us understand how good you are to us, our God. Pray that you would bless every home that is represented here. For you know our hearts and our hearts desire. You know our burden from above, but we know that you are burden bearer. Our heart fixing our mind, regulator. Thank you, our Father, for encouraging us this morning. As the man of God spoke to us, our God, oh, we are grateful. How much you love us, our God. That our Father, you had us to take enough time to have someone to speak to our soul to encourage us along this Christian journey. But we realize that we are in a warfare where the wiles of Satan is on every hand. But God, we put our trust in you, believing that somehow, some way, everything is going to be all right. We are here to praise you today. Oh, when we think about how good you are. How good you have been to us. Our hearts and our minds say thank you. When we think about where you have brought us from. When we were in our sins, our God. You didn't take us or turn us away. But you held us in the heart of your hand. And God, we say thank you. You turned us from wrong to do what was right, God. And we know it was you, our God. But we didn't have the power on our own. But God, your love and your mercy gave us another opportunity to get it right in your sight, God. And we say thank you. Bless the service today. Oh, let us know what you would have us to know. Let the man of God, our pastor, our father, preach your word with power and conviction that men, women, boys, and girls, heart will be revived. Yeah. Will be regulated. Give you the praise, God, for all of your blessings. We owe you the praise today. We're going to lift you up, Master. We're going to glorify your name, for you are worthy of all praise. You are our doctor. You are our lawyer. You are our provider. And we praise you, God. Thank you for this opportunity to praise your holy name. Please bless you. We ask in the name of Jesus Christ. Then you said after this matter, pray, our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us of our debts as we forgive our debts. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever. Amen. These are the names on our prayer list, and we are praying for you. Sharon and Mrs. Washington, Sister Brenda Anderson, Michelle Whalem, Aaron Calhoun, Sister Audrey Smith, so glad to see you this morning. Denise Miller, Shamia Jordan, Pamela Jordan, Monique Braxton, Joe Caldron, Linda Taylor, Nikki Lynette German, Vicki Savage, Cotina Cleveland, Juliet Smith, Nancy Oberlander, Chris Wilson, Eddie Gray, Miriam Lopez, Robert George, Brian Rings, Henry Wimbush, Juan and Elizabeth Ayala, Art Crum, Kimbia Edwards, Cammie Smith, Amber Edwards, Odessa, Texas, Roscoe, Mosley Sr. and son, Roscoe Mosley Jr., John Mosley III, Christopher Morlock, Larry Stewart, Danny Ray and Ronald Stuman, Jackie James, Brother Grover Brown, Gabriel, Ebony Hill, 
Rodney Ely, Jared Kenna, Paul Cotton, Daryl Johnson's mother, Sister Mary Jane Jones family, Calvin Burns, Brenda Marr in St. Louis, Calvin Crosby, Teresa Johnson, Amber Fisher, Stanton Royal, Carol Sims, Lisa Johnson, Jesse Love, Miracle Buckley, K.D. Welch, Andra O'Brien, Melinda Martin, Odessa Johnson, Vicki Wilborn, James Buckley, Sharon Downey, Linda Margray, Mr. Wong, Benny Hargrove, Mila Garcia, the family of Enoch Pringle in their hour of bereavement in South Carolina, the Robertson family in their hour of bereavement, Juanita Johnson, Cass Heredit, Tara, Mr. Tremell, Sue Bells, Sister Phyllis Ayala, Alondra Jackson, Monica Taylor, Reverend L. Palmer, Montana Peters, Zuni Bargiardo, Jim Cahill, Jerry Paul, Colleen Crosby, Cheyenne Hicks, Shantae Mitchell, Josie Harris, the family of Kalia Crosby in their hour of bereavement. Yes, Lord. Amen. Yes, Lord. Oh, I pray. Oh. For the names that have been called on our prayer list, on our prayer board, we're praying for you. And those who don't have your name on the prayer list, we're praying for you. We're praying for our homeless members, Roscoe, and those that joined last Sunday. Let us pray. All wise and all mighty God the Father of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. We come this morning, our Redeemer, our Creator, on the pleading terms of new mercy, thanking you for another Sabbath day that we have never seen before. You've been better to us than we've been unto ourselves. Oh, you brought us from last Sunday to this present hour. This morning, when you touched us, Lord, we say thank you for a day of mercy, new mercy. We thank you for the strength in our bodies to get up out of our beds, put on our clothes, come back to the house of prayer. Thank you for the deliverance from COVID. Oh, you blessed us, Lord. And our Heavenly Father, we pray for the names that have been called on this prayer list and on our prayer board. You are a doctor who have never lost a case. Father God, you said hi and you let, look low. Lord Jesus, you said call. And whatsoever we ask in your name, you would ask. We call on you this morning in their behalf. You know their situation. Father God, peace and have mercy. God who said hi and you look low. You were, you're so merciful. You brought us over the dangerous highways going and coming. And Lord, here we are on another Sabbath day just to say thank you, sir. Oh, bless your name. Look upon this neighborhood with an eye of pity and a heart of tender mercy. Touch the hearts of those who are just walking by. Lord, let them know that their house is on fire. Look upon Oakland and San Francisco. Lord, have mercy upon Richmond and the surrounding cities. You said it'd be like as in the days of Lot. Remember Lot's wife. Lord, we're seemingly right here in those times. And our Heavenly Father, when this life bless this congregation. Bless us to praise your holy name. Bless us to sing and have right hearts that you will be pleased. Lord, you owe thou who inhabitants the praises of Israel, your church. Oh God, bless your name this morning. 
you have put food on our tables, a roof over our heads, a mind to think with. Bless your name this morning. And our Heavenly Father, remember our loved ones far and near. Remember our children, our babies, Lord. Have mercy upon them. Seemingly Satan is busy, but we pray that you rebuke the devil. And when this life journey comes to an end, we like others must quit this walk of life. Pray you receive our souls in your kingdom where every day will be Sunday. Sabbath will have no end. And after this manner, you said, pray ye our Father, which art in heaven. Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us of our debts, as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of our hearts be acceptable in your holy sight. Let the Bye. 
I thank God as I forehands, I forestated. He's gone on now. Brother Andre Crouch. I believe he wrote this in 1982. I want to say specials keep on singing. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you for all the days yes, of life. Yes. He wrote this. It was almost prophetically written for our times now. People don't want to hear from God because they don't want to repent. He says, if my people yes. all right, all right. who are called by my name, yes. he's not talking about those not called by his name, but those who are called by his name yes. Yes. will humble themselves yes. and do what? Pray. Yes. And do what? See my, my face. Turn. And what? Turn. Turn. Go differently. Come back to church. Some say, well, I'm in church. I am not. Yes, you have. Don't say, sit in that bed, look at that TV. You go every place you want to go. You go to the doctor. It's amazing how we sit together. Uh, I was looking at that, how we sit together in close proximity. Yes. And riding in vehicles, vehicles for six and eight hours, but we can't come to church and distance all right, all right, and serve God. Right. But yet we ride together. All right. This is a beautiful song. We need to hear. People don't want to hear. Yet they want healing. He said, the Lord says. If my people who are called by my name, 2 yes. Chronicles, yes. 7 chapter 14 verse, yes. will pray. Yes. And do what? Seek. Yes. And then turn. Yes. And then what do you say? Then. Yes. Then. Yes. then. That's, yes. that's on com commission. Yes. I mean, uh, on condition. Yes. Then, then he'll do something. But he's not going to even hear you. Right. All right. All right. All right. When you're doing you want to do wrong and keep going the same way because he loves us too much. Right, right. He said, then I will hear from heaven and forgive the sin. Yes. Forgive you yes. for doing, going away, apostasy. Yes. You used to be in the church and be gone. Right. When you're disobedient. All right, all right. Then he said, I'll heal the land. Right, amen. All right, wives, we need to hear from you.
But you said in your word, yes. you see my face yes. and turn from our wicked ways. You promised to heal our land, Father, you can. Children, we need. He's 
only true, true lesson. don't know what to do. Life is so uncertain. They're up in ball. Lord, that gets in my way. Life is like that. There's an answer to every problem. I know what to do. I know you should always pray. I know that, I know that, I know that. Let the words of my mouth, meditation of our hearts be acceptable in your holy sight. This prayer I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Psalm 14 and 1. Psalm 36 and 1, I will be using. And then Acts, the 12th chapter. There's a lot of scripture here, 18 through 25. Psalm 14 and 1 says, The fool has said in his heart, there is no God. All right, all right. They are corrupt. They have done abominable works. There is none that doeth good. Mm. Fools don't do good. Right. They don't have God in their heart. Mm -hmm. right. Acts, the 12th chapter. 18 through 25 says, Now as soon as it was day, there was no small stir among the soldiers. What was become of Peter? Yeah. And when he heard, this is not the scripture. This is not the scripture. I want to find that scripture where they were walking along the Emmanuel's road. Find that scripture for me. Where he was walking along the Emmanuel's road. He says, O oh thou fool. Just bear with me. The 
we have it? After he had risen from the, and he joined two of his disciples, Cleopas, St. Luke 24. St. Luke 24. Getting at the 13th verse. Read that for me. And behold, two of them went that same day to a village called Emmaus, which was from Jerusalem about three score furlings. And they talked together of all these things which had happened. And it came to pass that while they communed together and reasoned, Jesus himself drew near and went with them. But their eyes were holding that they should not know him. And he said unto them, What manner of communications are these mm -hmm. that ye have one to another as ye walk and are sad? Yes. And the one of them whose yes, name Lord. was Cleopas, answering, yes. said unto him, Art thou only a stranger hmm. in Jerusalem and hast not known the things which are come to pass there in these days? Mm -hmm. And he said unto them, what thing? Mm -hmm. And they said unto him, Concerning Jesus of Nazareth, mm -hmm. which was a prophet, mighty indeed, and word before God and all the people. Yes. And how the chief priests and our rulers delivered him to be condemned to death. Yes. And have crucified him. Mm -hmm. But we trusted that it had been he which should have redeemed Israel. Mm -hmm. And beside all this, Today is the third day since these things were done. Mm -hmm. Yea, and certain women also of our company made us astonished, mm -hmm. which were early at the sepulcher. Mm -hmm. And when they found not his body, they came saying that they had also seen a vision of angels which said that he was alive. Mm -hmm. And certain of them which were with us went to the sepulcher and found it even so as the women had said, mm -hmm. but him they saw not. Mm -hmm. Then he said unto them. Then he said unto them. I want everybody to read along with her with that. Then he said, said unto them. Go ahead. O fools, and so of heart to believe all that the prophets have spoken. Thank you. Old fools. Now he's talking to his disciples. Yes. What? They're what? Slow, Slow to what? Believe. And what? Believe where? All that the prophets have spoken. In where? In their what? Their In their hearts. Yes. You Christians can fall into a fool category. When you don't slow believe God's word, you either wise, <laughs> let me go to this scripture here. The subject this morning is fools. That's just what it is. Uh, nowadays, we got my pastor preached some years ago. He uh, preached about Balaam, a fool on a mule in the middle of the road. And I start thinking, I say, hmm. And I begin to look, I say, fools on four wheels in the middle of a road. You got so many now, just running stop signs. If they could run over you, they would. You may be seen. There is a never ending process of fools and their misguided false life's advertisements, meaning what they say, they hang out for you to believe. Fools will convince you that they know everything about everything you know. And then some more. There is not anything according to a fool that he doesn't know about. Fools are the complete opposite of all wise men. All wise and common sense people. 
And let me just take it further. Who believe in Christ Jesus. They are scoffers who disregard that the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob is going to destroy this world. We read in 2 Peter where he talks about scoffers who said the world has already been a long time. When is all this going to happen? Yes. Uh, he, they don't believe that God uh, of Abraham, God of Isaac, and God of Jacob. Uh, is the Lord and creator of heaven and earth. They just don't believe it. They discredit by giving some theoretical uh, pro uh, uh, some kind of misguided thoughts that uh, it happened by combustion uh, uh, atomic com uh, whatever combustions and Molecules coming together, formulating out of the sea. Yeah, yeah. Yes, they, these pronosticators, they, yes. they disregard that in the beginning, God. Yes. Well, if all of this took place, where did the sea come from? Where did the molecules come from? Fools talk crazy. And it's in our school system where they don't allow different others to say, okay, I believe that God is the creator of heaven. They negate that. When school is a public place where you discuss ideas and you exchange ideas so that you can have different opinions to formulate your own understanding. But they give credit completely to a process that is constantly being modified in limited laboratories called science. I don't negate science, but I do negate the problem that they give science credit for creation. God created science. God is the greatest scientist ever lived to put a world together with the speaking and uh, materializations of the birds and the sky and stars and the moon and just he just so orderly until his scientific process just came forth. Second Peter the third chapter. 3 through 5 says, knowing this, first, that there shall come in the last days scoffers. You can write it down, 2 Peter 3rd chapter 3 and 5, walking after their own lust and saying, where is the promise of his coming? For since the fathers fell asleep, all things continue as they were uh -huh. yeah. from the beginning of the creation. Yes. For this they willingly are ignorant yes. of, that yes. by the word of God, the heavens were old and the earth standing out of the waters and in the waters. Uh -huh. In other words, that was a flood. Uh -huh. yes. All right. yes. God created. Yes. Yes. And God as he goes on to say, a thousand years is as one day in God's life. That's right. That's right. That's right. He is the same today yes. as he was yesterday yes. and will always be. Right. He's here yes. as well as he's in the future. Right. Yes. 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 My late pastor, uh, the Reverend Dr. C.J. Anderson, as led by the Spirit of God, mm -hmm. preaching preached a profound message entitled A Fool on a Mute in the Middle of the Road. Well, I can 
surely say as time moves forward toward the end of the world, uh -huh. right. in these growing daily activities, as in the days of Lot's wife, uh -huh. it seems like we have thousands of fools uh -huh. on the highway running through red lights yes. never stopping at stop signs yes. right. doing right. a California stop yes. let me tell you if they do that what will they say about God right. if they're disobedient and yes. law breakers yes. right. Right. Yes. Right. and right is wrong right. and wrong is right yes. and they, yes. they're talking about how do you know God is not a sheep well he's not the Bible says he's a man of war. He's a man of war. In the beginning, God made man in his own image and likeness. Fools don't believe that. And he took, he took a rib from man's side and made he a woman for man. Now, refute that. Where did the woman come from? Came from the man's side. Then we have this, uh, and God, because of her, because of her, the judgment that he put, he put man over her. Man is responsible to Christ. Christ is, uh, God is the head of Christ. Christ is the head of man. And woman, man is the head of the woman. See, they don't read, you got to read the Bible. They talking about, I see now, they equating women uh, with men. Well, how does God look at it? Right. How does God look at it? It totally seems like thousands of pimps, P I M P S, not the singing group, are disregarding the Lord God as master. They feel they are masters. Murderers totally disregard him as precious fools or constantly. Mad. They're mad. Yeah. Fools are mad. Yeah. You see it driving down the street. Yeah. You see it walking along the street. Yeah. Some minds are just gone. Right. You got some so impatient. You got some in the church just mad right quick. Yeah. Fools are not only mad. They are transgressors. They are insensitive and dangerously unstable. They, you don't know what a fool will do. But one thing you can be assured of is not going to be right. Everything they do is going to be wrong. The Bible talks about a fool when he says the right thing, agree with him. Yes, that's right. Right. If he says the sky is blue, yeah, you're right. Uh -huh. If he says that uh, uh, he got the genders right, so yeah, you're right. He, he is a man. He's a woman. Right. Solomon was wise when he yeah. talks about fools. Right. They disregard God as a myth. Mm. Fools don't believe that there will be a Final judgment. Some just believe that uh, when you go, you just destroy it. You go. Who was that? The Sadducees didn't believe uh, that there was a life after death. Is that right? Well, they didn't believe it. Pharisees, they did. But the Sadducees, they were different. Read your Bible. 
They disregard God as a myth. Fools don't believe that there will be a final judgment. Fools come in all shapes, forms, sizes, colors, and intellects. Yes, you got dumb fools, you got intelligent fools, you got, they come all kinds. Right. It's stupidity, but one thing about it, they're all wrong. Right. Yes. Yes. There is what the wisest, here is what the wisest man who ever lived said about fools. Well, let me start with some first, then I'll get to some. All right. Psalms 10 and 8 and 10 says, He sitteth in the lurking places of the village. In the secret place, places doth he murder the innocent. His eyes are privet, uh, set against the poor. He croucheth and humbleth himself that the poor will fall by his strong ones. Now, King Solomon is pointing out, and go back, let, go back to, for me, go back to Proverbs, if you will. All right. Read Proverbs. The 10th chapter. The 8th and 10th verses. That's the scripture I'm looking for. Yeah. Read Proverbs, the 10th chapter, 8th and 10th verse. What does it say? Someone stand and read it for me. The wise in heart will receive commandments. The wise. The wise. This is what the, the, uh, the wisest man said. Not, uh, this is in Proverbs, okay. not, not Psalms. The wisest man receiveth what? Commandments. What is a commandment? It's unalterable. It's what a higher authority gives you. God gives us the commandment. That's unalterable. The Ten Commandments is what it is. It's unalterable. A new commandment I give unto you, Jesus says, love ye one another. Right. We can't, we can't, uh, there's no way you can get around that. Right. That's right. It's what it is. What God says, that's what he means. Amen. The wise is, what does what now? The wise in heart will receive commandments. They are wise in heart will receive commandments. Go yeah. continue to read. But a prayer. But. Look at that conjunction there. But it's just the opposite. Right. I tell you, fool is the opposite. Go right. ahead. But a prating fool shall fall. Arguing. Mm -hmm. I don't believe that. Uh -huh. I don't believe that. Man called me on the phone. Thank you. Well, uh, go to the next verse. He that walketh uprightly walketh surely. But he that perverteth his ways shall be known. What is that, number 10? Yes, sir. Okay. No, sorry. Number 10. Number he, 10. He that winketh with the eye causeth sorrow, but a prating fool shall fall. A person that argueth. I don't believe what you're saying. <laughs> oh, no. I, I don't believe that. I, no, no, no. You wrong. Well, it's right there in the Bible. Right. I, you, you, you said it wrong. Well, it reads what it says. Right. Right. But how can you change God's? No, you don't, you don't. That don't mean it like that. Oh, yeah. uh -huh. A fool will not accept God's word. I don't care how you say it, how you form it. God. God has set in standard how to live and not to be a fool. Amen. 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 
Now King Solomon is pointing out that the complete opposite of being a fool is being wise. Yes. How you be wise? By listening to the commandments. Yes. Obeying God. Yes. You're not hearing what I'm saying. When you obey God, you're wise. Because there's going to come a time, a situation is going to come in your life that the scripture is going to help bail you out from a fool situation. Now, now King Solomon is pointing out that there, that the complete opposite of being a fool is being wise. And how do you be wise? By listening and obeying, accept God's word. Fools have no common sense. But the wise do. You don't have to have an education to be wise. You got more educated fools now that are running wild. Throwing these wild jiggaloo parties. Oh, but God, his word is true. He knows how to bring those fools down with disease. That was a fool that we read about in the Bible. He was a madman. Had thrown Peter in jail, had killed James. And he went down and he was standing and the people, he got angry, he was angry. Fools are constantly angry. They don't think they think they got it totally under control. The people came out and said, he's not a man, he's a God. And at the same time, the angel shoot, killed him. The Bible says in the word right there in front of him, let everybody know what he was. He was not a God. We all words one day going to be eaten up. This flesh goes back to the Bible. Yes. Right there in front of them. He deteriorated. Mm. Yeah. Maggots everywhere. Yeah. Words. Fools argue against the truth yes, yeah. and remain completely yeah. stupid. A fool. Yeah. Proverbs, the 10th chapter, verse 18, 23. Someone read that for me. Proverbs, the 10th chapter, verse 18 and 23. Come on, I want a different reader now. He that hideth, look, we got so many now, I hate to say it, in positions, in politics, in, church, in the Supreme Court. In, he that hideth uh, lying lips, he that hideth hatred with lying lips. Haman hated Mordecai. And he lied on all the Jews. He wanted all of them exterminated because he had hatred in his heart for what had happened generations ago. Don't you know fools carry that? I was talking to my sister this morning. She was saying how uh, there was a cartoon a series, I think, uh, what's his name that what the uh, he was a comedian. Bay Bay Children. Who committed that? Bill Cosby? Was that? But if she was saying, Maurice, she she said, uh, I'm looking now. She said, these are baby grandchildren <laughs> that I'm dealing with right now. She said, they don't have no manners. They don't, they don't, they're off the hook. They, they do anything, say anything. They can't read. They can't tie their shoes up. Maurice, they can't tie their shoes up. You almost, they depending on the teacher to do everything. No home training whatsoever. Are they 
they're raising fools now. All right. Yeah. All right. My mind. This is why the church is so important. This is why you should keep your child in church. This is why you should get your child in church. Because there's truth here. Learn how to be a parent. Learn how to be a child. Learn how to be a teenager. Learn how to be an adult. Learn all by based on God's word. You'll be wise how to live your life. Do unto others the golden rule as you would have them to do unto you. He that hideth with lying lips and he that uttereth slander is a fool. Yes. Yes. Tell lies on people. Right. You, because you don't like them, right. you hate them, you tell lies on them. Then you slander their name all around the neighborhood and all around the city on Facebook and what is, what's that other thing? Twitter and what other thing, y'all? Instagram. Put it out there. Hatred. Go ahead. In the multitude of words. No, 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 no. What is that? It is a sport. It is as a sport. Number 23. It is, a, it is as sport to a fool to do mischief. But it's a sport. Go out there and kill somebody. Go out there and run over somebody. And brag about it. What fool give him a... Uh, uh, Giving women, what is that, uh, that deadly disease, syphilis, yes. uh, AIDS, yes. AIDS. Amen. what is it? Amen. And, and, and yes. how in the world can you be sane mm -hmm. by doing a fool's right. thing? Right. You know it's wrong. Right. Yes. I'm telling you, some of these gullible women, they get laid out with anybody. Trying to be in the know. Right. One thing about it, sooner or later, everybody gonna know. <laughs> Go ahead. It's a sport mm -hmm. to do harmful things. Go ahead. But a man of understanding hath wisdom. Yeah. Man. But if I do this, what would happen? An under, a man with understanding, you know what he does? He has home training. Yeah. He has common sense. Yeah. You know where that comes from? Do you understand where that comes from? Yeah. It comes from the Bible. Right. It comes from those who follow the teachings of Christ. Right. From the, the, we didn't used to have all this craziness in our black community. We used to love one. Yeah, we had our little mischief, little stuff. But they respected the church. Right. <laughs> it was full on Sunday. Right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's right. Church was full. Yeah. The community was covered with prayer. Right. Yeah. Old, old. That's why I love the South. I don't know if it's changing or not. But hey, boy, they wave at you. They don't know you. They just right. show you that hospitality right. love. Even even the young whites down, yeah. the side, they say yes, ma'am, uh -huh. no, right. sir. Yes. Respectful. Right. We done lost our yes. common sense. Yes. All right. Yes, sir. Ma'am. That was where was that? That man was out there cussing so. Yes, sir. Where was that? We was at a place, you know. Mm -hmm. We was at a place where he would just raise up. Cross the street, hollering at the woman, you be. Yes. I said, man. <laughs> Black man. Right. We didn't call women back in the day. No. We respected women. Right, right. We took our hats off, and I still right. took our hats off, even on the bark. When I see a woman say, we try, they, they kind of, you know, they're independent now. But I offer anyway. Right. You know, they just, you know, they're trying to prove that they're just, but I don't care. I'm going to be, I'm going to be who I am. I'm going to offer a seat. I'm not going to lose. I'll put my common sense down. Teachings. 
We have so many that think they are absolutely right, but they are absolutely dead wrong. Proverbs 13 and 16. Somebody read that for me, please. Proverbs 13 and 16. Read it loud and clear. Every prudent man dealeth with knowledge. Every prudent man. What is a prudent man? He th he, he's looking. He makes sure that things are in order before he jump out there with both feet. Prudent man dealeth what? With knowledge. with knowledge. You know what that means? He studied stuff. He sat out now. He said, now, where would this lead me? Instead of just following the drum beat of somebody else. They think about it, look at it, think about it. They, they look at it from, and they think how God had brought them. And, well, where would this lead them? They think about how God, where would God be in this picture? Prudent man. He don't jump out there. He don't say too much. He investigates first. A prudent man. But what? Don't, but, but. But, 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 go ahead. But a fool lays But a what? A fool. But a fool. Lays open his folly. Oh, he. Yeah, I, I know. He'll jump right out there. Yeah. He's in the front. Beating a, a fool's drum. Going nowhere. You got to be careful just listening to in and everybody. Yeah. Study that person. Don't, don't go to sleep on them. Study, study them first. Look at them. See how they, oh, they, they put a smile on. That's why some, some women are so gullible. Man come in there and he's smiling. Take you out to dinner. Court you for three or four months. Oh, this is it. Don't you know, man, he tr says traps? Just like you ladies says trap? Back in, back in my day, Girls say, get pregnant so they can get married or get, on, get, get that money from the... Yeah, yeah. I'll pause there. <laughs> a fool layeth open his folly. Uh -huh. He let everybody know he's a fool. Amen. Proverbs 1 and 14. Somebody read that for me. Yeah, we're going back to Beth Baptist Training Union today. Amen. Right here in this message. Amen. Proverbs 14 and 1. Child, youth, anybody. I don't want the same reader though. Go ahead. Stand and read it. Proverbs 14 and 1. Every, every wise woman builds her house, but the foolish plucketh it down with her hand. Is that 14 and 1? Yes. Every what? Every wise woman. What is that saying to you women? Be wise. Be wise. Every wise woman does what? Build it. How do you build? By common sense. Looking at how things are going. If it's not right, don't try to... Don't, you can't put a, a, round, a, a square peg in a round hole. Build it with how they what? A foolish, she tear it down. She don't like something, she just tear it down. How do you tear it down? Woman's mouth is vicious. She can tear it down, do, do strange things. Things you, they think about, they live in the bed at night and think, how are you going to get next to that man? Don't bring him down. He thank you so much. Mm. Tear it down. Lord, Look, it reminds me of that movie where Caleb, you know, he was uh, in Lord of the Rings. Mm. He was sinking in that heat wow. with the rain down. Yeah. They all melting. Yeah. Oh, folks, they don't cut off your what? Thank you. To fight, despite your what? Faith. 
Don't cut off your nose to spite your face. You need your nose. <laughs> Proverbs 15 and 5. Somebody read that for me. Proverbs 15 and 5. A fool despises his father's instruction. A fool despises his father's instruction. Mm -hmm. You can't. The Bible says you beat that rascal, he's still going to be a fool. Wow. A fool despises his father's instructions. Go ahead. But he that regarded reproof is prudent. He's wise. Yes. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Yes. For correcting me. Yes. That's all right. Amen. That's all right. Thank you, Lord. That's the way all should be yeah. when it comes, not just to their earthly father, uh -huh. right. but to God. Yeah. Amen. 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 Yeah. Proverbs 17 and 7. Proverbs 17 and 7. Proverbs 17 and 10. Proverbs 18 and 10. So one can read it. Proverbs 17 and 7. Proverbs 10. Proverbs 18. Sister Scott. Excellent speech. Fool don't even know how to talk right. When he talks, it just is tasteful. You can tell a fool. It goes against the grain. He don't even know how to engage in a, a, a family conversation. It takes everybody. It's just, it's just like the Bible says, uh, ointment with, with, that stinks. He just fumigates there with He's just stinking. You ever drove, have been driving around, uh, driving, and uh, all of a sudden you smell a, 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 a powerful skunk smell? It's not perfume. No, it's not. It's not. It's not perfume. It's, not. it's like even, even some women wear some per powerful perfume, not the elephant down. <laughs> That's the way a fool's conversation is. Yes, right. It stinks. Yes. It, it, and then it's incoherent. Mm -hmm. right. It's all off the subject. Right. You might be talking about ice cream and pie. You come up talking about the jungle. Right. The jungle. You, we're going back to Africa. We talking about ice cream and pie. Right? What does that do? It? I won't talk about that. I, I don't hear all that. We were slaves with all. I don't hear all that. He doesn't know how excellent, listen, excellent speech becometh not a fool. Go ahead, continue. Much less do lying lips a prince. Now that's bad. Person that have uh, a position and they are looked upon as a quality leader uh, will be a problem, and they lie. It's just the same as the food. All right, verse 10. A reproof entered more into a wise man. A reproof entered, go ahead. Entered more into a wise man than a hundred stripes into a fool. Listen to that. You can beat all. You can beat a fool to death almost. He's not going to accept uh, uh, chastisement. He's not going to accept uh, being reproved. He's going to be the same sneaky rascal, lying and doing the same dirt in his heart. It's going to come out hundred hundred stripes. You're not school. The Bible tells you how many stripes you're supposed to beat. 39 lashes. That's, the Bible says don't go over that unless you for the fool. Constantly re what? Repeating himself. Yeah. Doing the same foolish thing. Going around the same mountain over and over. You beat him a hundred stripes. That's a whole lot of stripes. And he ain't going to change. 
But a, a person that's prudent, wise, they'll accept. Lord, I thank you. Reproof means you get it corrected. You go, you want to go the right way. Don't you know it's terrible going the wrong way? You're always going to have difficulty. You never make it to your... But when you correct it, you go the right way. You feel good. You have no strings attached. I know this is not a hooping message, but Proverbs 17 18. Who has Proverbs 17 18? A man void of understanding striketh hands and become a surety in the presence of his friends. A man, uh, he's void of understanding. Mm -hmm. He striketh hands. See, he'll make, he'll make a bill in a minute. And go on about his business. You don't care about the law. Now that we have under, that we have established the fact that fools are unwise. Have no common sense. And wicked in heart. Who are the wise? Who are the wise? The wise are always obedient in doing the right thing yes. by the word of God. Yes. And by others. They do unto others as they would have them to do unto them. Yes. They treat people like they want to be treated. Right, right. Fools don't do that. Right. If you notice fools, they cry for mercy when it comes time for them. Yeah. For their judgment. The wise are obedient and humble. They respect authority, yes. such as all elders. They are law-abiding citizens. The wise are peacemakers, uh -huh. not peace breakers. Right. Fools break up. Right. Yeah. Parties and dinners, families, they're not wise. Nope. And uh, they're not peace breakers. They're they're not peacemakers. They're peace breakers. The wise seek the truth and find it in Christ Jesus. The wise are always following the word of God as a guideline for their life to solve problems. But the fool never uh, follow the, the word of God but always have problems. They always have problems. Their heart is wrong. They're corrupt. And it leads to nothing. It's like weeds. Mm -hmm. Their home is destroyed yeah. because they're corrupt. Wow. Their uh, children grow up being, if they're not saved or converted, grow up corrupt. Yeah. The wise are always finding ways to have uh, peace. Yeah. They find a friend and try to keep that bond. Yeah. Yeah. I want to say as Jesus, as we come to the conclusion of this message, the King James Version says the transgression of the wicked saith within my heart. That's our Wednesday night Bible study. That there is no fear of God before his eyes. For he flattered himself in his own eyes until his iniquity be found to be hateful. The words of his mouth are iniquity and deceit. He hath left off to be wise and to do good. The easy reader version says, deep in the hearts of the wicked are uh, wicked, a voice tells them to do wrong. They have no respect for God. They lie to themselves. They don't see their own faults. So they are not sorry for what they do. Uh, their words are wicked lies. They have stopped doing anything wise or good. Jesus, as I read what was read earlier about how he was uh, talking with his disciples as they 
walk the Emmanuel's road. Yes. It astonished me at first when I read where he said to Cleophas and his disciples, oh fools of heart, slow to believe. I said, wow. Jesus said, call them fools. And now I understand. When you don't listen, and he says, you didn't listen to the prophets. I, I've been telling you all through the uh, Old Testament yes. what was going to happen to right, me. Right. I even uh, warned you and told you yes. Yes. what was going to happen to me. Right. When you don't follow the signs, right. Right. I told you how I had signs. Yes. Yes, that's right. yes. And then uh, I missed those signs. I didn't, but I was so gun ho on going this way. Right. You got to be careful when you Miss what God is trying to tell you. You fall in that fool status. You don't become wise. Let me tell you one thing. You have to. Sometimes, somewhere in your life, you'll miss the mark because you didn't follow what God was saying. But the greatest thing about it, the greatest thing about it, that God had grace out of the grave. Grace and truth walk with them. Gave them another chance and explain to them where they had error. God have given us grace while we were driving down the freeway. Yes, he did. Yes, as I pondered in the car and I was riding on those four wheels, I was thinking, I said, God, Jesus, thank you for your grace. Don't tell me I wasn't alone. No, no. But grace wrote with us. Grace brought us back. Grace have explained that you keep on the right road. Solomon was right. Solomon was right. In all thy ways. Not just in some. Just because it looked good. Just because you qualified and you did good, you did really good. But I was not supposed to change. Stay on the road of the schedule. Wasn't supposed to change from Friday to Thursday. Stay on the road. But grace got us here today. Grace and mercy. Thank you, God, for touching us this morning. Thank you for not letting us have a major accident on the freeway. Your grace. Grace and truth walked along with them and explained the scriptures. And the Bible says when they got there and they was up there fixing to eat, the eyes came open. God along the way, after praying Deacon Smith, my eyes became open. I say thank you, Lord. Thank you for your grace. Thank you for your mercy. He gives us grace and mercy every day to get it right. He gives us grace and mercy when he wakes us up. He don't want us in that fool status. He wants us to be wise with him. And when you're with Jesus, you're wise. Come and go with me to my father's house. Hallelujah to my As we 
depart from those who are live streaming with us. Stay with the Lord. Yes. He'll stay with you. Yes. It feels good to do right. Yes. It feels bad to do wrong. Yes. Even though you do it wrong, your spirit won't be right. God will speak to your mind. Thank you, Sister Scott, for alerting my mind to pray as we drove. God put that on her heart. We needed prayer. God heard. Grace ride rode with us, going and coming. All wise and almighty God, as we prepare to go to our separate dinner tables and wherever we're going to sit down and eat in our homes. Bless the food for the nourishments of our souls and bodies for Christ's sake. And then, Lord, be it your holy will. We should live to come back to praise your name. Bless the women today in their services. Bless us tonight. I pray this prayer. Bless those who have given their tithes and offerings. Yes. We pray this prayer now. May the grace of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, the love of God, the sweet communion of your Holy Spirit, rest, rule, and abide with us until we meet again. Let us all say amen. amen. To my Father's house, love one another. Amen. Jesus says a new commandment. Yes. I give unto you that ye love ye one another. Yes. Oh, Lord, to my Hallelujah to my father's house. Oh.